let's talk a little bit about AFib and what your what is your book called? It's called Restart the Heart. Yeah, yeah, it's called Restart Your Heart, the Playbook for Thriving with AFib. And AFib, I have a variety of different analogies for it. Electrical cancer is one that I use. It's a progressive disease. And I think we used to think that AFib, paroxysmal AFib, one or two episodes a year in a low stroke risk patient can just monitor it. Well, it turns out now that every episode of AFib changes the heart electrically structurally to facilitate more AFib. So we have that term AFib begets AFib. You know, in, in talking about curing AFib, so, you know, I just want to see if you approach AFib the same way. So when you first diagnose someone with AFib, your whole treatment strategy is based on getting them out of AFib, right? Because AFib begets AFib. And then as you go forward, right, as they become more permanent, then it kind of becomes too late for them to have an ablation. So you kind of want to hit that sweet spot, right? And get them out of it, do this stuff to, to fix them while modifying risk factors. But for you, and the point I want to make, because I know you do a lot of ablations, when when is a patient not a candidate for an ablation anymore in your mind? I mean, based on atrial size, based on other things. Yeah, that's a great question. I think, Jennifer, the most important thing is you have to individualize to each patient. So the reason why I wrote the book is a gentleman who had been in AFib continuously for five years, who had long-term persistent, long-standing persistent AFib, was told by numerous people nothing could be done. He wasn't a candidate for ablation. Well, I asked him the most important question, which was when he was cardioverted five years ago and he stayed in sinus rhythm for a week, how did he feel? He felt amazing. He felt great. That's all I needed to know. Then we embarked on a process together and it's important to set the expectations for people of what to expect, what their success rate's gonna look like, the fact that it's not just a one-stop shop, the fact that, again, like the electrical cancer analogy, you have to come up with a treatment plan. For some people, cancer treatment.